Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to DR Max class. This is eighth video on binary operations chapter. I want to conclude what we learn till now in this chapter. Mainly, we learn about the definition of a binary operation and examples to understand the definition of binary operation. How to check an operation star is a binary operation on a given set. Students will feel difficult while checking an operation star is a binary operation on a given set. I want to tell a trick here to avoid the confusion. If you observe all the six examples what we have done on binary operations chapter, when star is a binary operation on a given set, we followed a particular method. When star is not a binary operation on a given set, then we give a counter example and we conclude that it is not a binary operation on a given set. You have to observe this point. When star is a binary operation on a given set, you must be very careful. You have to check for every pair. For example, a student is declared he passed the annual examination when he passes all the subjects for group subjects and two language subjects. If he pass in all the subjects, then the person will be declared that he passed the annual exam. Suppose a student got out of out in mathematics. We don't know his marks in another subjects. Can we declare he passed? No, we cannot. We must know the marks of all the subjects. Then only we'll come to know whether he passed in each subject or not. Then we'll declare that the student is passed in annual examination. Suppose two subjects marks you know. In max he got out of 100 out of 100. In physics he got 90 marks we suppose. Can we conclude that he passed in annual examination? No, we cannot conclude. S similarly, to check an operation star is a binary operation on a given set, you have to check for every pair. If whatever A star B is defined, if particular two numbers satisfies the given condition, we cannot say that that star is a binary operation on a given set. You have to check for every pair of numbers on the given set. However, fortunately, when star is not a binary operation, feel happy. If we give one counter example, which is not satisfying the given condition, we can conclude that star is not a binary operation on a given set. Suppose a student got uh, 20 marks in physics subject and, sup and suppose that it is a fail mark. A student is failed in physics subject without seeing his other subject marks, we can conclude that he failed in annual exam. In the same way, if we can find one particular pair which is not satisfying the given condition, we can conclude that star is not a binary operation on a given set. So whenever star is a binary operation on a given set, you must be very careful and you have to check for every pair of elements on the given set. You can find question number 4. In question number 4, we, we what method we followed, you check it once. When star is not a binary operation, you check, we always give a counter example when star is not a binary operation on a given set. And if you observe this point, most of the confusion will be clear to you. Whenever star is a binary operation on a given set, we will follow a particular method. Whenever star is not a binary operation on a given set, then we'll give a counter example and we'll conclude that star is not a binary operation on a given set. I hope this trick will help you to avoid the confusion while checking an operation star is a binary operation on a given set. In next class, we will learn when a binary operation star is said to be commutative, when a binary operation star is called associative. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Still, if you have doubts, you can comment. I'll try to solve your doubts. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. I'll see you soon in next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.